Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. Now, in the last video, we ended up dying on our alternate Deadman Mode account, the account that is specifically there to make me money so I can afford some really expensive gear. We ended up making probably over 20 million Deadman on this account alone already. But today, I will be discovering a brand new method of making a ton of money, and I'll show you the process of how I'm gonna do it. At the moment, this is how our safety deposit looks like on our main account. As you can see, we we were able to afford quite so many best in slot items already. Our goal is obviously to eventually obtain a full max gear. So that being said, strap in, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump right into the content. There are a few things we have to do before I can do the money making method that I want to do and that is to obtain 20 mining, 20 smithing and 20 crafting. Let's get at it. First I will reclaim my barrows gloves very quickly. There we go. So that's over and done with and for the second part I'll just kill my own cows and then make my own cow hide basically and then tend that for 20 crafting and that is 20 crafting. That's what we need. Now we're gonna go to shanty pass to buy some very cheap bars because I don't feel like quest even though I could do the night sword for very quick smithing XP I'm just kind of lazy and I just want to do some bars on the anvil I'm feeling like if you are short on cash on deadman mode This is actually a pretty viable way to making money So come right here bank whatever you need and if you trade this dude right here Look at this these bars here go for eight coins on the grand exchange right now They're 1500 coins each this bar you can make crazy profit just doing this Unfortunately, it doesn't restock so you have to hop a couple of worlds But it's a solid method and that is 20 smithing now on to mining and that is 20 mining let's go do our quest and there it is elemental workshop one completed i get an elemental shield meaning i can now kill wyverns let's gear up for that we're gonna very quickly buy a house house obtained and the last thing we needed was uh, this beautiful avas accumulator there it is now we are fully ready to try out some wyverns i could also take a task technically but i don't think i really need it i don't really care about slayer experience at this point anymore the reason for the house obviously was so I can teleport straight to Remington with the teleport to house and then I'm basically right here at the wyverns We're gonna start off with 71 range and the sigils of my choice are gonna be devotion ruthless ranger and Prosperity prosperity is gonna give me 20% more uh, drop chances Devotion is gonna give me passive prayer XP as I do them and then the ruthless ranger is gonna give me extra range XP But also that little passive that actually deals extra damage sometimes occasionally So yeah, the wyverns are right here. Let's begin our grind and see how much money we can make Oh, there is actually a person here So I would expect no one to be here in this combat bracket because you would just think that this would be populated in a lower combat bracket But I was wrong. There is actually a person here cool we are doing a little bit of change of relics right now so i unattuned my devotion i bought myself an archer ring which was very cheap like 300k and i'm gonna attune sigil of consistency because the amount of times i hit zeros when the wyvern is like 5 hp it's triggering me i was considering sigil of aggression but honestly i think i'm better off just selling this one because if i get attacked i'm just dead so let's see how much it sells for insta sells for 357k i was not a fan of it when i'm doing multi stuff if i get hit there's no way i tank it so yeah this is gonna be my go-to play right here consistency and the ruthless ranger with sigil of prosperity let's see if we get some lucky drops on wyverns now 75 range all right so while i'm easing into the wyverns on our secondary account that's gonna give me a lot more room to play on my main account compared to what wilderness allowed me wilderness was very sketchy always be ready on point i think on wyverns on my bracket i will be fine to just afk they're kind of hard and in the meantime i want to do some fun stuff on our main account and it is finally time to unlock both of our prayer scrolls i have been keeping them in my safety deposit box for a while but it is now time to activate them because believe it or not i will be actually using them in fact i want to do a dk strip there are quite some items that you can get from a dk's right now that are worth quite a bit of money you get a berserker ring 1 million there you get a sears ring 700k there you get a dragon x 600k there so i can get a lot of money from dk's but first let's read the arcane prayer scroll and learn augury there it is big and now Let's read the Dexterios prayer scroll and we learn rigor. There it is. Our main account is now fully prepared when it comes to prayers. Now let's get into some DKs. 
When it comes to sigils, we will be using for the DK strip. I'm going with the sigil of the guardian angel, obviously to not lose a life or not lose anything in the bank if I die. Sigil of the last recall, so I can quickly bank and deposit rings that we get, very cool. And then sigil of the menacing mage, just so I can heal a little bit when we are killing the melee guy. So that's gonna be it, I'm probably gonna grab a tentacle whip, a trident and just a rune crossbow and that's gonna be our inventory setup. First thing I'm gonna do is I'll quickly buy a range cape, this is gonna be a best cape to really use during the DK strip, very cool. And now let's start going there. And we got Dragon Met Helm straight away. Lol. Let's see, can I rub here? Yeah, I can even in that. Perfect. And activate. Oh, that's sick. That is so sick. And here I am. That is so sick. Seer cool. That's like the worst drop. No. Oh, that's like the worst one as well. <laughs> Warrior ring. Yoink. Berserker ring. Wait, what? Quickly. That's really good. I should definitely bang that. Berserker ring. Nice. Nice. No way, there's a pick air here. There's a pick air here, I TP'd away. You might want to try to TP. No way that just happened. It thinks I sold for 1.1 mil. That's really good, actually. Nice. First supply drop on the wyverns. Soul runes, actually no, combat potions and renars. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice to see that uh, there are supply drops. Yo, that's uh, 85 range, nice. I just got Sigil of the Eternal Jeweler. That's the first time I see this, that's so useless, no? I didn't even know that was in the game, yeah, what? That's crazy. Oh, well, God Sword Char 2. Oh, God Sword 1 of a minion, nice. Arma Helmet, oh my god, unlucky. Oh, Arma Hilt, nice. Up to 90 range already. <laughs> Up to 90 range already. And if you check the look at the looting bag, I can't speak English. My tongue is just <laughs> uh, 1 million in the looting bag. This is quite slow, but mainly because my range was still very low. Now that the range is getting higher, the kills are also much faster. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Arma helmet again? Nah, you're trolling. Gods are charred 3. As soon as we see no one, we go. We might only be able to do one kill. We might be able to do zero kills, but we try. Okay, we TP to Corporal Beast. Wait, my consistency isn't working. They nerfed it on this. Yeah, we're gonna change for Death Strikes then. We have to. Nice, we did it. We actually did it. Solerance. Okay, TP out, TP out, TP out. Nice, we can actually do it. That's sick. Good job, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Magic logs, all right. Two kills though. Nice, good luck. Five minute kills with seven. Rush arcs, okay. Uh, let's let's dip, let's dip, let's dip. It's a team. Uh, get out and leave the leave the cave if you can. TP. I we must have gotten scouted. It's when we teleported all from the GE. That's why maybe we need to find a different bank. There it is, the first actual rare drop. Uh, granite legs. Unfortunately, they were like 30k, so it's a pretty bad one. It's not quite dragon legs, for example, and it's not a VC either. But at least we finally see something. 93 range, all on wyverns. Very cool. It is the morning again, so we're gonna do another duo DK strip and hopefully land on some rings. They're pretty expensive right now. 1.2 million for a B ring, 600k for a Sears ring. So there are some very good options to make some very decent money. Oh my god, we just got Sears ring. <laughs> what? Nice. That's really good. No, another circle. I didn't even notice. Ooh, Dragon X, that's really good. That sells for like 700, 800k, that's solid. That's really good. Very free money. First, we're gonna sell some Earth Talisman for around 2,000 each over time because this is a very solid way to train rune crafting. This should sell over time. Sears Ring is currently being on sale and this should sell for around, let's just put it 650k. I think it's over 700k, but if it sells quickly, we'll leave it like that. So yeah, very solid money and we can go right back there. So we'll probably do this for a while until we get hit, I'm thinking. Oh, warrior ring as well. Uh, that, that's unfortunately like 50k though. Mmm, nice, another dragon axe, sick. Totally not eating breakfast at 4 p.m., but hey. Eh. Oh, dragon axe sold for 600k, nice. I got mud battle stuff as well. I think I got every drop here now. Like, I keep getting the collection log pop-ups. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm good. Spine the body, what is this? That was a nice trip. 94 magic. Nice. Five more levels to go. Lovely sight to see. Everything is slowly selling. And if you're wondering why do I have these most random offers in the G, like 2 million for Vesta Longsword or whatever it is, most of the time I'm just trying to snipe an item. And sometimes it happens and you get really expensive item for really cheap. At the start of Deadman mode, I was buying Arim rope tops for 120k each and selling them for 400k each. Like stuff like that in Deadman mode, when the economy is fresh, you can really make some good money by just leaving the 
offers in. Never have money in your bank doing nothing. Always try to just have an offering for something, whether it is Guardian Angel Relic, Vesta Longsword, any different sigils that you perhaps want, or a specific item that you're into, right? For now, I want to get another Vesta Longsword that I can then merge on forward. But just a little bit of uh, behind the scenes, and also I need to readjust these prices because they always fluctuate. Up to 95 range on the account. Wyvern's been treating me nicely. Just AFK in here, relaxing. Very cool spot. There is 96 range and I'm still yet to see any rare drops from this place. Not a single dragon plate skirt or dragon legs. Even though they're only 160k, they are supposed to be 4x increased drop rate and I just think I'm very unlucky. But nonetheless, it's a very AFK way of uh, reaching that goal of 99 range on this account as well. That is 97 and just two more range levels to go before I start with another different plan that I have for this account. So I'm not gonna stay at Wyverns because I don't think it's worth it, believe it or not. And we're gonna move on to big and better things. First Sigil of the Wyverns, Sigil of Devotion, just enjoying watching Gilenor Games, episode number two, very cool. Uh, Devotion, pretty good one, probably can get a couple hundred K out of it. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> He almost died to a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> this trip came out to be 1.4 million and this amount of money in cash, this amount of money in arrows and logs. Up to 97 range also, actually one hit away from 98. Very nice. All right, I do believe it is finally time for me to evolve my main account a little bit further. Now, over the last couple of days, I decided to invest in some bones. So I got 600 dragon bones and I should have some more. There they are, 90 dragon of bones as well. Those are obviously from doing the DKs earlier. And it is finally time to finish off 99 player in the account. I'm gonna activate a sigil of the skiller and I'll use them all up on the altar. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty exciting, maxing the account. After that, there's still some niche things I want to do on this account, but I will tell you more about them later on when I actually go ahead and do them. For now, let's go on and finish 99 prayer. It's coming, right? Oh, very nice, very nice. There you go. All right, here we go. We are about to be done, believe it or not. There it is, 99 player on the account, boom, everything here is 99. I don't know, I kind of gave up on like the whole maxing everything thing. I mean, I could do it really fast, but uh, I don't know, it's a kind of waste of time, but I will be grinding for some other things that I've been working on, basically. Shout out to Justin Screech Swap for actually lending me his house. And with that being said, let's move on to something more exciting, nice. All right, it is the morning and I have finally decided that there is one more thing I really want to do on my main account and that is I want to complete Lunar Diplomacy in order to unlock Vengeance so when it comes down to 1v1s I can Vengeance before the fight actually begins. So with that in mind we gotta get a couple of stats in order to be able to complete the quest so let's begin on with crafting. I need to get 61 crafting. I have some uncuts from all the Slayer I did and there is 53. Let's see if I get enough to finish it off. There it is, 61 crafting, that's the first quest requirement done. And that should be 60 mining, all the bones nicely going straight to my bank thanks to the remote storage and those are all the requirements I needed. Now what I have to do is I have to complete the Fremenic Trials. It's been a while since I've done those so let's see what I need in order to complete that. There it is, 98 range and I'm only staying here for one more level on the alt account and after that, well, I'll leave you guessing because I'm not gonna reveal it in this video I don't think, but I do wanna finish off of this 99 on the account it would be huge back to the main account all right it is now time for me to train a little bit of construction my construction is really lacking behind and i want to move my house to releka when i'm gonna do the next following few quests so in order to do that let's uh, let's begin our training i have a couple of planks that i bought slowly in the past let's see what level it gets us yep just casual 14,000 xp drops very cool so the first goal is obviously 50 construction which i think should be very easy to obtain and then the second goal we'll see how high high we can go. I might consider going for the pool in my house as well, uh, but yeah, this should be some very fast levels. All right, that is now 50 construction. I do believe I can now get myself a butler, so I don't need to actually personally go out of my way and bank for uh, planks every time. So that's a nice little first milestone. We're going to build our very first portal chamber room. Pretty expensive, 100k, but not too big of a problem for us. Now, I usually make rooms depending on how dangerous they are. So for example, I would have one room 
where I only have safe teleports, let's say only to safe zone, we're talking Lumbridge, Varok, Falador, and then I'll have a dangerous room where I only have teleports to dangerous areas, just to put it in perspective. I'm gonna organize my house and then I'll show you what we are left up with. All right, then here is what we have for now. We have an altar, we have three teleports to safe zone, Varok, Lumbridge, and Falador, and then we have two dangerous ones, Camelot and Cemetery. Cemetery being Ancus in the wilderness, very close to farming the keys, and then uh, Camelot obviously being Camelot. Very nice. Now I need to create two bedrooms and then I can actually hire a servant and then we'll keep on training some construction while we have the planks and then we're gonna move on to finishing our quest. All right, that's all the oak logs I had for now. It got me all the way to 77 construction, which is very solid actually. I think getting 99 would be no problem at all. It would be a little bit expensive, but I could totally do it. Now we can move on and do our quest. I believe I'm also gonna move my house to Releka. Okay, any moment now, it should be done. A few more hits and uh, the account is, there it is, 99 range. Another one out of the way. So I know I originally said I was never gonna train range or magic, but I kind of changed my mind and you'll see in the future videos as to why that was the case. I'll stay here just for a little bit longer and then I will move on with my project on this account. Now that I'm done with wyverns, I was a little bit disappointed over the fact that I went from 70 to 99 range and not received a single rare wyvern drop. Uh, so I'm returning to wilderness on this account, but I'll try something new. I will try Ankus. Ankus are very close to 100 combat, they're very fast to kill, so I am thinking maybe I can kill a lot of them very, very quickly, and if that is the case, maybe we can finally land on that PvP item we have been waiting for this whole time. So, uh, once again, I have a very AFK setup with monk robes and black dehyde. If I get hit, I'll go very deep in the wilderness, right over here in the cemetery area. This is where I'll be farming, and if I get hit, I basically need to tank to this little cave, and and then work that as an escape with my amulet of glory. That's basically the plan. I just noticed I forgot a cemetery teleport and let's get right into it. Obviously the very first thing once again I have to cancel the tasks that I currently have which is a task of spiritual creatures and my reward point is not as high as I thought it would be so let's cancel it and now let's grab Ankus and stay there for a while. Uh, there it is. So 93 of them should be fairly quick. Now when it comes to the sigils I'm not taking any aggressive ones. Sigil of slaughter for the slayer picking option, devotion to get some prayer, experience and prosperity to get more drop chances. If I break this and go straight into deep wilderness, I should be able to put the melee prey up and AFK here, they should hit me or am I? Okay, there we go. I need to find the best spot to AFK. I don't know what that's gonna be yet or maybe I won't really be able to AFK and I'll have to run around and hit them. I know I could do this in the Slayer cave as well, but that is multi and I don't wanna be there again and lose my lives. Liar obtained on the main account, meaning I can now go on and complete the quest without bothering to craft this one. It is one in 17 drop of one of these brothers. Ooh, we're getting rewarded already. Sigil of the poor Porcupine, arguably one of the really good relics to take in the 1v1s, so the more time goes, the more expensive this one will get. Uh, at the moment, I think it's like 200-300k, but I think it's gonna go even more up, so I'm gonna sit on this and not immediately sell it. If you don't know what it is, it's like an improved recoil. So basically, once you activate it, the enemy will take 4 damage every time they damage you, so it's a really good item, actually. I just had the nastiest tank ever, and I didn't record it, and now I'm sad, but basically got attacked by 3 people in the wilderness, it is what it is, and just got a just used basically this to an escape. I got deboed a big number, almost died, but ended up getting out. All right, with that quest completion, I am now one step closer to having Vengeance unlocked. This was the last requirement I needed, but I do think we're now gonna attempt some corp with the boys. So here's some levels that we also got. And let's see if we get some luck at corp and if we are even able to do it. If not, we're gonna just continue on questing. Dude, this with spears would be so good, but so much more risky. Adibar. Good luck, boys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Soldrons. You're confident, guaranteed Ellie this skill. I see. Right here, right this one. You sure? Oh, I got a virtual range and hit points level, Pog. Come on, something. A two not potato. Grats, bro. Guys, the one kill that's gonna be me, that's gonna be the drop. Trust me. It's, the, it's just the RNG account. Like, I asked Jagex to just increase my drop rate. So now I just need to get the kill, you know? Because I haven't gotten a kill yet. That's why we haven't seen a drop yet. <laughs> it's mine. Oh, I got a supply drop as well at the same time. Dude, no way I got two sapphires. That's such a scab game, man. Onyx bolts. That's that's really good. That's really good. That's over a mil right there. Nice. Yeah, there is a scout. Yeah. Fuck it. We try to finish it, but come on. One more hit. Okay, TP. 
All right, had to quickly complete the entirety of Lost uh, City Quest again, just so I can get my Draymond staff, basically. Now I'll just get a couple, I don't know how many I actually need. And now I can actually start the Lunar, what is it, Lunar Diplomacy? I think that's what it's called. Right after I make these Draymond staffs right here, very, very cool, there it is, perfect. What? the fuck? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Supply drop of cedar rolls and lobsters and nature runes and tier 5 emblem. Wait, I can get a tier 5 emblem from here? They're not even 100 combat. Wait, that's so good actually. Okay, wow, I didn't know that was possible. Okay, Sigil of the Supreme Stamina, I think that still goes for money, right? People will always want that for questing or whatever, so we'll take it, that's solid, nice. Alright, here we go, a solid one hour later, I should be completing the quest here unless I missed something, which I really hope I didn't. There it is, Lunar Diplomacy is now completed. From 1 to 49 Runecrafting, that's a pretty good one actually. And now I should finally be able to cast Vengeance. So let's go ahead, grab the runes and cast the spell we've been working towards. There it is. We've worked towards it and we have done it. Vengeance is now unlocked on the account. I never did that in the past, by the way. Never completed this quest because I always breed. But if I am able to prevenge into a final fight, then uh, I'll make sure to get that slight advantage over my opponent. As always, I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, we are almost at 100,000 subs. At the moment, we're on 98,000, so I think we can reach it. That being said, thank you very much once again, and I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Have a good one, and bye-bye.